News tonight, the latest tool in detecting colon cancer. News 8 medical reporter Joss Momenta in our newsroom with more on what's now available in the fight against the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Jocelyn. Sonia Darren, it's tough to keep up with medical technology. It's constantly evolving. Now there's a new diagnostic tool for colon cancer, and I went to Yukon Health Center to find out more about it. This is high definition endoscope. Now the best way to detect colon cancer. You could pick it up better. The images taken during colonoscopy using it have higher resolutions. That means lines and, and better detection of smaller polyps and better uh, view of, uh, of, of the surface of your colon. Dr. John Burke heads up the Division of Gastroenterology at Yukon Health Center, one of the first facilities to get the high-tech tool. I do think that, um, that it's been shown to increase your polyp detection rate and you know, therefore um, uh, identify those people who are at increased risk for colon cancer. It's flexibility. They've made the scope um, floppy in three regions. Makes it easier to insert. The close focus enables doctors to see more and the narrow band imaging which decreases the penetration of the light distinguishes the polyps. You can d determine the architecture and, and, and understand a little bit better whether or not you think it's a true polyp or just a bump. Dr. Burke points out while it takes about 10 years to go from polyp to cancer, not all polyps are cancerous. A colonoscopy is recommended at 50 years old, but there is some debate on whether the elderly should have it done. I do feel that if you're, um, you're an elderly American, you know, in that 75 to 85 range, um, that if you're healthy, otherwise healthy, it's worth looking. It's recommended that people who are at high risk for colon cancer should be screened earlier than at 50 years old. Now, risk factors include race, family history, age, and obesity. Back to you.